Hey you guys, PGD here, hope you're all doing well. I'm here today to talk to you about a brand or a company that I had never heard of before, so I've never spoken to you about any of their products until now. And the company, they contacted me actually for something else and then we kind of ended up talking about their products. The company is the original Moxie. And as I kind of search for them online, I see that other people on YouTube and other places have done reviews for this brand, so you may very well be familiar with their offerings, but uh, for those of you who are not, I'll certainly have the link to their company Company down below and I'll show you that they sent me two products and I'm going to review them for you today now they have hair products that are primarily uh, focused on people with natural hair but quite honestly so many of the products can be used by so don't think of this as a line just for people with uh, kinky hair because shampoos conditioners we all use those right so um, I think you can find beneficial many of the things that they offer through their line so take a peek click the link down below now I usually don't talk too much about my specific hair type well I guess I do kind of in a, a roundabout way but let me son sorry um, so let me just tell you that I do have low porosity hair and in figuring out what products they wanted to send to me, they asked me, you know, a couple of different questions and et cetera. So I certainly let them know that I have low porosity hair and some other things. They are coming out with a line of products for people specifically who have low porosity, um, but they don't have that out yet. But they do have two products that are kind of, I guess, universal for anyone who wanted um, to get these two things done to their hair, which I'm going to talk to you about. The first is the Lightweight Shine product. It's a four ounce. This is the full size, the only size that you can get this in. Well, not really, because they do offer this in a sample size, which you can get, I believe it's a one ounce for $5. This is the four ounce, their full size, um, and you pay $18 if you want this one. And this particular product, Twist Mist, is one that, you know, I guess whether you're low porosity or not, it's a product that's kind of universal. If you want to add some shine to your hair without making it feel heavy and weighed down, then this is a product that you can use. You can use it on wet or dry hair and just spray it on and go. Now, let me tell you a little something about this. And as I talk to you about it, let me let you take a look at the ingredient list right here. Hopefully with the lighting, you're able to see that if it will focus. Yeah, I think it's focused. Okay, so you can see right there, it's not a truly long ingredient list, but it's it's a great one. Hopefully you can see that. Um, with evening primrose oil, which I know some people like to use on their face. It has just a bunch of great oils in here, but not heavy oils, like things that are kind of lightweight oils. So it will give you that kind of shine and everything. It also has lavender in here, tangerine, pink grapefruit is in here, palm kernel oil, coconut oil, and as you likely saw from the list, other great and neat oils. Okay, so this is oil in a bottle already prepared for you. Now, the only thing that I can say, well, two things that I'm going to say about this product, and it says right here on the front, and you can see on their website, um, this particular one is listed as extra moisturizing for dry hair, because I certainly do have uh, dry hair. So on the uh, website you can search based on your hair type or like the condition of your hair or what you're trying to do for your hair if it's really dry and you're trying to bring moisture so they have different ways that you can look up the products that may work best for you um, but I say all that to say two things one as long as if I were to take coconut oil and put it on my hair there are some people who can do that and the shine from the coconut oil will last from now until like you know eternity. I don't have that hair type. So I can put coconut oil on my hair and, you know, I may be able to have, you know, some measure of shine for at best a, a few hours, very few, but maybe a few, maybe I can make it two hours, three, depending, especially if I put something else on top of it, like a pomade, you know, maybe. So what I'm saying is Shine that comes by way of oils or other products typically don't last very long on my hair. Like the shine is not still popping um, through products or, or oils, okay? So, um, and I say that because I know I've spoken to you in the past about like a shampoo or not shampoo, but a conditioner that maybe I've used in the next day, I still see the shine. Yeah, I'm talking specifically now about a product that is apply to my hair that's supposed to stay on and give me shine okay 
I can talk about the difference between what I mean from the two later, but essentially the conditioner is just kind of like going into my hair and done and sealed, whereas this is something that's going on top of my hair. So I'm right now talking about something that goes on top of my hair. So for those, the shine doesn't typically last too, too, too long. It just kind of evaporates into the atmosphere and, and it's gone. So this one did not outlast the other, part. like if I were to put pure coconut oil on my hair, the shine, uh, it didn't outlast that it stayed about the same amount of time which is fine the, the other thing that i can say here is that yes it is a lightweight um product because it didn't make my hair feel weighed down so for people who you may have very fine hair and you don't like using oils because it gives it that heavy feeling you may want to use this because it has a combination of many oils that are great even if you just want to spray it on your scalp but if you're putting it on your hair but they're lightweight ones so it's not going to give you um, that way down feeling but again you should maybe want to start with the sample size because it's only five bucks and that way I think you'll um, see if it works for you or not but I think this is a nice product but for a person like myself um, you know I didn't get any additional shine but I got shy right so if I were going out the door and I went to like put shine on I could certainly use this and it would give me a shine for a bit of time okay but for people who have more I guess normal hair you should be shining <laughs> for a good long time with this product. The only other thing that I need to say about this is yes, it's in a spray bottle, which is phenomenal, but this has one of those, you know, those really uh, focused nozzles where, let me try and spray it into my hand right now, maybe you can see, boom, maybe you saw that. It hit like that, now there's some splatter because of it, but um, it, it, it focuses on one, like, spot it's like a really focused spray nozzle so it goes right on that one spot which is probably why in the directions they and and i say that as opposed to the spray nozzles that you spray and it disperses out like that this one goes like straight ahead for whatever it was aiming at you can see all that oil from one spray so the recommendation from the company is actually that you rub it in your hands you put it in your hands like so and look how much oil i got from one spray maybe you can or cannot tell but they uh, even recommend that you spray it in your hand and then apply it to your hair, which you can certainly do that. Um, and it may help you to just reach more areas all at once as opposed to spraying and having that really focused um, direction of product in one concentrated area, but you just kind of put it in your hands and then you can apply it as needed. The other thing, especially since I've just sprayed it, I have to tell you, minty, minty, minty. So it smells minty, it gives you that kind of minty scent so that's what this smells like and again this is $18 so you can give yourself but again it really does feel lightweight so you can give yourself some lightweight shine and um yeah so that's what this one is twist mist so there we go now this one also from the original moxie company this one is scalp therapy and as you can see this one's in the pink for extra moisturizing for dry hair and this one is in the kind of brownish container well white bottle but with the little um, brown design right here but if you can read this section right here if it will focus and allow you to read this it says for dry and troubled scalps right and right here it says balanced moisture so this particular one, this scalp therapy, is, as you can see right here, it features blue cypress and andiroba oil. I had never, or andiroba or andiroba, I, I, I don't know how else I would pronounce that, but I had never heard of the andiroba oil, so I certainly looked that up, and blue cypress is quite often used for even if not just for the hair or scalp, but just for the skin, people in certain areas and certain, uh, if they have certain skin conditions really dry and things like that, people will use um, both of them. And especially the Andy, Andy Roba, as I looked up the Andy Roba oil, I saw that, and they have information on the original Moxie site as well, but even if you want to explore to other sites, um, people particularly who have itchy skin or dry skin use this on their skin skin. Um, and so, of course, your scalp is skin as well. So if you have um, dry hair or you a dry scalp or you have an itchy scalp um, 
or you just want to increase the circulation of blood in your scalp. A lot of people like to do massages and things like that, or they'll put some, um, you know, Jamaican black castor oil or something on their hair and kind of rub it in to get the scalp circulation going. Please use this. <laughs> this is a two ounce bottle. It costs $18. This does not come in the sample. You can only get it in this size, let me tell you. I put this on, now I'm gonna tell you particularly how I like to use this one. First of all, it smells super minty, okay? So for those of you who love the minty scent, hands down, this is it, super, super minty. Sorry for that extra, extra sunshine, but bear with me, okay? So um, it smells super minty, and when I put it on my scalp, okay, so the first time I put it on, I said, oh, this is tingling like five minutes that's long then I was like oh it's tingling 10 minutes and an hour this thing literally didn't stop ting like the next day because I was able to do an overnight treatment with it as well and that's how I love to use this product I think it's great as an overnight scalp treatment especially if you're gonna wash it out the next day um, so this particular one and you guys know I love like fruity scents and things like that. So that's even more so why I like to use this one truly as a treatment treatment that sits in my hair and then I wash it out um, because I, I don't typically use uh, things that have the, the minty scent, um, but it's fine. Okay, so I put it all over my scalp and it was tingling. And the next day when I woke up in certain areas, not as much in all of the areas, but in certain areas, I still felt it tingling. So it was really getting that circulation going. I wasn't doing any massages or anything. This is amazing stuff. And let me show you the color. It's like, um, I wasn't expecting this. And I'll show you the ingredients in a second. It's like a gray, grayish looking color product. Um, let me just try and rub it there. Really lightweight super creamy and the other thing that I was concerned about when I saw the color was kind of like grayish I said oh it's gonna like leave some film because there are other times when I've used it not as a scalp treatment but just I mean not as a scalp treatment that I wash out the next day but as one that I just left in my hair just to you know get a feeling for the product and how it works and I was wondering if it was gonna like leave some film or fl no it like seeped right into my scalp it was perfect no flaking no no discoloration next to my root because I have dark hair and it didn't show up like I had some light colored uh, product in my hair nothing it was perfect as I have it on my hand right now the level of tingling that I'm feeling not painful and I'm a person who I, if you have an aversion to things that tingle this may not be for you but for those who actually like putting you know tea tree oil or rosemary on your hair or peppermint oil and you like that kind of tingling perfection this is I have to say this is the, the most tingly or the tingliest product that I've ever used even right now on my hand it's still like tingling and I feel it it has that cool like menthol mentholated feeling that I'm getting right on my hand so yeah so anyway so I applied this all to my scalp and the next day when I washed it out with um, water it just felt again that mentholated cool feeling it was just so refreshing for my scalp so that's how I like to use it as a scalp uh, kind of therapy treatment but for those of you, I'm sorry, I just felt like I was yelling. Okay, so for those of you who are not necessarily looking to do the overnight treatments, but you suffer from maybe dry scalp, or better yet, for those who suffer from an itchy scalp, let me tell you, especially if you're coming close to wash day, you may feel like a little itchiness in your scalp. You put this on and, and tell me if you still feel the itchies <laughs> in your scalp because this works so, so, and it must be just the, the tingling, uh, combating the itchiness where <laughs> you don't even need to itch because this thing is really really good it recommends that you shake well before you use it so you can read all of those ingredients here um it says that use the app applicator tip to apply product directly onto scalp 12 drops are generally sufficient to cover your entire um, scalp so you know i have a larger head i don't know how many drops i actually use and in fact I'm sure it's more than 12 because I actually did my hair in sections each time that I use this as an overnight. I did my hair in sections and I um, I parted it and I just literally applied it like this. like So I likely put on way too much, especially if you're saying 12 drops. Because it really is because it's such a, a thin 
product, you can spread it quite easily. Uh, or maybe I shouldn't say thin, but more of a, a creamy kind of loose product, you can spread it easily. So maybe if I had done just the drops and dragged it down with my finger, maybe I would not have been feeling the tingling the next day. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so maybe I used too much. But anyway, this product is great. I didn't suffer any adverse effects from it. They also list uh, on the website that if you feel that you're uh, a going bald or having some issues like that, you may want to use this product. Now, I'm not suffering from that, so I can't attest to whether or not this would help you in any way. But um, the ingredients, which I'm going to let you look at right now, again, a variety of really, really wonderful um, oils. Uh, you have yucca root in here as well, olive oil, um, comfrey root, um, aloe leaf is here, vitamin E oil. So I'll let you look at those. I wonder if you can see it with the print so there we are and I'm just gonna go down so you can see so here's the ingredient list and right now I promise you as I'm sitting here my nasal passages have been fully opened uh, likely more so from the scalp therapy but really the combination of the, the first product that I showed you and this together the minty scent just really opening me up. Hopefully you can see all of these wonderful ingredients and these two products. And again, this one is priced at $18, certified organic uh, ingredients that they have in here, as you can see from that bottom. So the things with the um, single asterisk. Um, wild harvested items are also in here. Uh, a natural source has been used to derive certain things like, for example, the vitamin E. They have wheat germ oil in here. Just really, really nice ingredients. So from top to bottom on the ingredient list for both items, I think you'd be really pleased with what's um, available or what's placed in these products for your hair. But of the two, this one, I mean, they're both nice products, but this one in particular, the scalp therapy, amazing, amazing. And again, I may have used too much, but I didn't feel any adverse effects from that anyway. So I'm happy I can use less next time so that, you know, I kind of draw this out and get to preserve this product. But really, really nice from the original Moxie. So with the blue cypress and the Andiroba oil, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, they were, now, blue cypress was... Um, a little further down on the uh, ingredient list, but you know, I, I don't care where it's placed on the ingredient list. The inclusion of these two items here, along with everything else that's here, really helped to make my hair, my scalp, first of all, prevent the itching when I was closer to um, wash day, and I would feel like, oh, my scalp's a little itchy. Put this on, remedy, surefire remedy. Also, because it just like seeps into your scalp. If you have dry scalp issues, I think this is what you need in your life. Um, it does have a really minty scent though, so if you don't mind, you know, having that minty scent, um, then this is perfect for you. But if you do mind, then you may want to use it as I use it, as kind of an overnight treatment, um, and then wash it out the next day, and you'll... I think love it. So thank you so much to the original Moxie company for sending these items my way. I'm really appreciative and I, I'm keeping scalp therapy uh, in my life for sure. And uh, for those who need a little boost of shine, you may want to try the Twist Mist. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.